Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to take a look at my favourite technique for enhancing colours and tones in an image. We're going to start off with this picture where we're going to make some basic adjustments. The image itself I downloaded from a superb stock agency called Pexels. I will put a link below the video. The next image, which is this one here, we're going to take a look at a few of the other little tips and tricks that I like to use when adjusting the colours and tones in an image. Right, let's go back to this one. It's going to be completely non-destructive. We're going to be using an adjustment layer and the adjustment layer we're using is selective color. Now when selective color opens, up the top we've got colors. If we click in the window where it says reds, these are the colors that we're selecting or targeting to work on. We got reds through to magentas. We've then got whites, neutrals and blacks. We're starting off with the reds. Now below are the sliders that we can use to adjust the saturation of those particular colours that we're targeting or selecting. And I know what you're thinking, you're thinking we've got red, but there is no red slider. So what we now have to do is think in terms of opposite colours. Now the opposite colour of cyan is red. The opposite colour of magenta is green. The opposite colour of yellow is blue. So we're going to start off with the cyan slider for the reds. Now, if we move it this way, you're introducing into the plus percentage, you're introducing more cyans and you can see what it's doing to that red balloon. But if you move it to the left-hand side, this is when we're increasing the saturation in those reds. I'm gonna take it and the oranges by the look of it, as well as the boots as well, I think I saw a move. Right, so there it is. We've now increased the saturation of the red. Let's come down to the black slider as well because what we can do is move it to the right hand side, we can start to darken those colors down, those tones down. And look what that's doing. I think that looks really good about this position here. Right, next, let's have a look at yellow. Now yellow has its own slider, so we're gonna move this across to the right hand side. And as we move it over to the right hand side, look at that yellow balloon, the saturation we can add there. Coming down to the black slider, once again, moving it to the right, we can darken it down, move it to the left, we can brighten it up. You'll also notice the orange balloon brightening up as well. It doesn't want to be left out. So just taking it into this position. I'm gonna brighten it up very slightly. I'm just aware of the, the highlight there. I don't want to lose that. There looks good. Next, we've got green. There isn't a green balloon, but we do have a few blades of grass and a few more blades of grass there, and a few little tufts here. So let's come to the magenta slider, which is the opposite of green. So when it's an opposite color, we move it to the left-hand side, so we're taking it into the greens. We're now increasing those saturations in the greens. That will do, coming down to the blacks. We can darken it down. I'm gonna take it into this region here. Next, let's have a look at cyan. Now cyan has its own slider, so straight across to the right hand side, we can see that blue balloon having a lot more saturation. Also the purple balloon as well, having a little bit more saturation with it. Coming down to the black slider, we can darken it down, we can brighten it up. I'm gonna take it into this position here. Next, let's have a look at blue. Now blue opposite yellow, so taking it to the left hand side, there's a little bit there in that purple balloon as well. If we come down to the black slider, can darken it down, can brighten it up. Just gonna brighten it up very slightly into this region here. Let's have a look now at magenta. Now magenta has its own slider, so across to the right hand side, and that purple balloon has now decided it's magenta, giving it more saturation there. And let's come down to the black slider, darkening it down, brightening it up. I'm going to darken this one down into this region here. So there's the balloons taken care of. Let's just switch this off and on. You can see the difference we've made to those colors. Next, let's have a look at white, neutral and black. Now there is no white slider, nor is there a neutral slider. So if we click on white, we're now going to use the black slider. Now with this, if we move it to the right, we're gonna darken those whites down. And I'm not sure I like what that's doing to the uh, image. Let's move it to the left-hand side. You can now brighten those whites up. 
you'll notice it is the railway sleepers, the railway line there as well. If I just move that back and forth, we get some idea of what we're actually working with. I'm not going to bother with this. I don't want those whites to be too overpowering, so I'm going to leave it on zero. Next, we're going to come to possibly my favorite, neutral. Again, down to black. Now with this, we can move it to the right. We can darken those tones down. And I really love some of the bite that we can get out of the image with this. If you move it to the left hand side, you can brighten the image up. But with this particular picture, I'm going to darken it down very slightly, taking it into this region here. We're now going to have a look at the last one, which is black. We've got a black slider. And if you move it to the right, darken it down, left lightens up. Nope. Let's darken it down into this region. I don't want to go too far. I don't want to uh, yeah, block out those blacks there. So let's just leave it on plus three. Taking a look, and as I switch this off, there's the start image, switching it back on. Look at the difference we can make to those colors and tones in the image. I just love using this selective color. Okay, next, let's take a look at it on an image like this. Now, once again, coming to an adjustment layer, we're gonna go down to selective color. Now when selective color opens, let's start off with red. Now red, of course, with cyan, moving it to the left-hand side, and you can see the sand on the beach there. It's beginning to look better like this. Coming down to the black slider, could darken it down, making it look a little bit warmer yet. Just gonna take it into that area, just backing it up very slightly. Just don't want to overdo the reds around this region but I like the way that's looking. Okay, next we have got yellows. Now yellows, moving this to the right-hand side. And as I move it over to the right-hand side, I'm aware of the sand and I'm aware of the palms and that uh, big vase uh, urn, whatever it happens to be called. Moving it into this position, coming down to the black slider, we can darken those yellows down or we can brighten them up. I'm gonna brighten them up very slightly, taking it into this area. And if we just take a look again, just moving that back and forth, just gonna move it into this position here for the yellows. Okay, next we have got green. Now green, magenta, so moving it to the left-hand side, we can now increase the saturation of those greens. Again, the palm there, it's looking good. We can darken it down into this area here. We can brighten it up. I'm not gonna brighten it up as I did brighten it. I noticed those leaves which didn't look particularly good. So darkening things down as well. I think it suits the palm, leaving it like that for the moment. Next, cyan. Cyan, moving this to the right-hand side. And as I'm moving it across to the right-hand side, we can see the sky. Yes, but I'm not sure that's the way I want to go. Let's just have a look at the black slider. As we move the black slider over, we can darken those cyans down. No, I want to go back into this region here. The reason for this is as I was doing it, these wispy bits of clouds around the fringes here were beginning to take on a bit of a cyan hue. So I'm not going to bother with that. Instead, I'm just going to darken the cyan down slightly into this area. Next, let's have a look at blue. Blue, we got the yellow slider, so moving it to the left of the blues. And as I'm moving this over, taking it to that region there, looking at the sky position, well, it's not position, color, that's better. Right, moving it to the right-hand side, we can darken those blues down. And what I tend to do is just look at the image. I'm not looking at the sliders. I'm looking at the image, taking it into this area. I can see that the C is darkening down as well. That looks pretty good like that. Right, next we have got magenta. So taking the magenta slider to the right-hand side, as I'm moving it across to the right-hand side, I'm aware of this vase here and these little glass bauble things. And if we move this across, I can see that brightening up. Table, and just notice that brighten up as well. Don't be afraid, grab hold of the slider, whack it back and forth, and you can see what's uh, happening with your image. Sometimes it's just a little bit on the subtle side. I'm gonna darken that down. I think it suits the baubles a little bit better. Sorry, it would have been nicer to have had that lighter, but have to leave that for now, the table and the baubles win. Right, just darken it down a little bit further, just perhaps a little bit more magenta as well. Okay, next we've got whites. Whites down to the black slider. 
If we move it this way, we can darken those clouds down. This slider, the white slider, as far as clouds are concerned, is absolutely fantastic, but you have to be very careful. We're going to take it into the minus, but I don't want to go too far. I'm brightening the clouds up, but I don't want to blow the whites. I don't want to make them clipped. So I'm just moving it in very small amounts. If you want to move it in small amounts, bring your cursor over any of these names. You'll notice you get a double arrow going through your finger, but it's really your cursor. And we can just move it very, very slightly. Let's take it to that area there. That looks good. Looking at it, I'm aware of a little bit of magenta creeping in around this position. So we're going to come down to the magenta slider and I'm going to move this into the greens. So I'm just going to give the opposite of magenta, which is green. Again, a very small amount. That's all that's needed. Don't take it too far. Otherwise, you affect the tone of the green of the clouds even. Right. Get my words right. Moving it into this position here. Three, four maximum. OK, once again, coming down to neutral. We can use neutral to darken it down. We can use it to brighten it up. Just going to darken it very slightly. I'm aware of the shadows in particular. That looks good. Does add a little bit more bite to the C as well into this position. Let's have a look at those blacks. Again, just going to the right, just to give a little bit more depth to those shadows. And there it is. Let's switch this off and on. Let's go into uh, fit on screen as well while we're at it. Just switching these off and on. A little bit of blues in the clouds I've just noticed. So let's come up to the whites and I'm going to come to the cyan slider and I'm going to move this slightly into the red. Just looking at those there, that's better. Minus two, only a very small amount, but it just helps to remove a little bit of that color that was creeping in with those whites. There is our finished image. Very subtle changes to the colors. I find this a very natural way as well of being able to add depth to the colors and tones. So go on, give it a try. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have. Any questions, comments, please leave it below. Don't forget to subscribe as well. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.